Kingayat. <laughs> not, not a great way to broach your, your uh, diplomatic uh, negotiations. <laughs> you saw the crystals because given. How the tanks managed to drive off uh, the Red Wings, which are fully capable of bombing castles to bits, uh, we don't know, but uh, I'm not just going to talk that up to superior dwarven engineering. <laughs> v dub into house. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching too, the, the scene goes really quickly, but if you're watching, you notice that when Sid was flying the airship in, uh, he has to stick to the, the land the land route. He can't uh, cross over the lava with it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little cliched among female characters in ultra JRPGs, but... Iridia and Rosa both are just the heart and soul of the team, and uh, they. And, and hey, you know it's you know, it's good to have the party members that, that have that role. And I guess with Edward unable to to help us out, the role of empath goes to the kung fu master. Which you know, <laughs> actually in this case, it's that I think we're actually hearing the uh, the the next boss kind of bouncing and. And uh, making a, and making the noise that it does, and uh, Yang is the one who can hear it. Well, you have to admit this: if if there was a scam to sneak inside the crystal room, saying, "Hey, I hear something back there," would be the perfect pretext to do it. <laughs> then again, they locked us in, so maybe they're making sure that we we come back with the severed remains of whatever whatever interloper we found in here, or it'll be us. <laughs> I'm not sure what this song is, is technically called, uh, but I, I was kind of thought it as a prototype to uh, to Dancing Mad, and uh, it really kind of sets the stage for the characters they use it for. Just perfect for the for the villain they use it for later. <laughs> you fools. <laughs> So it's, it's kind of funny, on the, on the eve of my niece's uh, birthday party, we're fighting some demented, uh, do demented kids' dolls. <laughs> I think the, uh, the cows are the ones up front, and they are, they are a lot weaker than the, the brainas. But regardless, you have an entire pack full of enemies. You can actually kill them all in this phase with, uh, with enough AoE attacks and, and uh, properly timing your your offense against the people in the back and everything. If you wipe them all out here, it won't go into uh, phase two. Nice, okay. So I think that confirms Bloodlance works works as intended. So it means I probably should have had him drop on one of the, uh, the, oh, the cows are the ones in the back. The Brain are the ones in, in the uh, front. Let's see, we, I don't remember how many turns you get Try to do that one. <laughs> Time to play with children's toys. <laughs> See, I thought the kick might have been enough to do it. Let's finish that one off. I used to be able to pull this off pretty reliably, but it, like I said, it's been a long time, and the other versions make it harder to, to skip this phase. Another kick. Okay, that was enough there. You've got enough time to give everybody a couple, a couple turns. There he goes. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right. So we're gonna want to. I think let's set this up on Yang. He's the lowest defense. He's the most vulnerable to its physical attacks. I probably should have just been physically attacking and and had uh, Kane jump on the uh, the ones in the back first, since I already knew they were the stronger the stronger ones. Or am I thinking of the other way around, and you can kill the the Calcabrina before it goes back into 
talking to the uh, dolls. Regardless, you know, there, there, is a, there is a pattern for the fight, and you can do it faster than the, uh, than the, game, than the game expects you to. But it doesn't make much difference. You get the same rewards either way. Ooh, charm. Let's uh, hit. Ouch. Normally when Cecil uh, gets charmed or attacks, some, attacks a teammate, it can be really, really bad. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> What, what, um, is it, uh, Lonnie, I think, in Final Fantasy IX will use a scan on your party members. And uh, she's a bounty hunter actually going after, uh, after Dagger and Vivi, which I thought was a really cool, really cool touch. You can scan them and find out their weaknesses. Let's see, that's, uh, Yankin. So it's going be hard to tell whose turn it is whenever they're, uh, let's see, we're doing, we're doing okay on each speed. Uh, whenever they're blinked, because you don't see the... Whoa, jeez. Because you don't see the, uh, the the normal turn flash. Granite of Power. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what it was. You can actually kill... Uh, yeah, so let's go after the... The brain is... Oh, Charmed. Okay. Welp. <laughs> I was doing so well on, on showing off, you know, efficient ways of doing this, and then, then, uh, don't, then I don't do my my usual tricks for this boss fight. But you know, that, that's okay. I just attack the charm one. <laughs> well, at least it'll get. Uh... Ooh, miss. That's not good. I didn't even finish it off either. Okay, let's not attack that one this time. <laughs> and just give Cecil a cure there. I think I'm just going to give Kane back the back the wind uh, spear there. So this time the one that's charmed is the one on the bottom. So I'm thinking, so him at that one. That, that guy still that guy still has his back, the back rank uh, bonus or defense rather. Don't have Cecil hit this one who doesn't have it because the front the doll in front is dead. Then uh, yeah, clear this one out. Then I think that'll work. Or maybe it does still have the, the back rank uh, thing. Nice. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and. Should be, they should all be they should be almost all almost dead by now. Yang is not doing much damage though. That's kind of the disappointing uh, aspect of this. Let's have, I think that one. It, it's uh, I, need, I need to finish them off. Uh, ben was still reminding me not to attack the charmed one, but I, need, I just need to finish them off so it doesn't really matter which uh, which ones. Arg, god darn it. <laughs> Okay. I cannot believe this. This is... Hmm. Let's do a uh, Berserk on Cecil. Let's just do that. He seems to be the hardest hitter. I have, I have never had this happen with this, uh, with this boss. You know, I think that might have been my problem. The, the Blood Lance is all well and good, but the superior number of hits on the, uh, on the, the Wind Spear is definitely making it the superior option here. So that's that's probably the big the big uh, issue, and not berserking Cecil the first time too. <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay, so jump is probably a better use of his time if he's not if he's not berserk. This would be a good time to to check in on that too. That. Uh, Whenever with the Avenger, there we go. Yes, that mm, freaking Bloodlands. <laughs> All of a sudden, Wayne's luck flies out the window. <laughs> does those darn kids' toys say? Yeah, yeah that, that's what it was. I spent too much time trying to peel them out of the plastic wrap, and this is <laughs> the time I finally got to play with them. Then, then, uh, then we break them. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> yeah, there there is a, and I, may, I might be thinking of the of the blood sword that might be a little more useful. Now the old mage is gone. <laughs> I've got to get to the moon. I just wanted to go into space. Speaking of powers beyond human comprehension, uh, the after years, right? And uh, yeah, uh, if you have, if you, I think if you basically wait a second and then have, uh, we want to see Cecil topped off. But yeah, you can make sure that uh, Kane is in the air for when this stuff happens. And yeah, there we go. You basically have to wait just a little bit for to get some time on Galbez's uh, on Galbez's time ATB. Must it ATE, ATB? This saves you having to revive Kane in the fight. <laughs> that's a, that's a great that's a great line too. So yeah, there's a bit of fun watching you know, one of C Cecil's bros and his uh, and his uh, girlfriend get eaten by the Galvez's dragon. But hey, you know it just takes a life a uh, phoenix down to bring them back up. <laughs> and that's what I was talking about earlier. It's like they have that line about how if you oh, it's. Uh, Swoon. I have the line about how if you kill a uh, if you kill a summon, the summoner dies. And yeah, that's probably some kind of Golbus is powerful enough that probably doesn't affect him, but still. But it's probably not also a true summoner, he's probably some kind of packed master thing. Alright, so Rydia's back. Surprise! One of everybody's favorite characters. But she has the entire list of summons. Uh, she is a Pretty bad dudette, and doesn't afraid of nobody. And you want to, want to open up with Virus on Galbez because uh, this can be kind of a long fight, so getting the thing to start chipping down at him will be good. And let's get uh, Kane his... How badly hurt is he? He's good. That would have strength with this then. If he was badly hurt, I would switch it back to the Blood Lance. See, he's going to be up in the air. That would be ineffective. So, sure, what is that? Or Kane could be dead before he even leaves the ground. <laughs> yeah, really important to get a slow on Galbez because it can be trouble. It can be tricky to keep up with his uh, offense. Otherwise, if you're playing the original version, you could, uh, or the later versions rather, you can hit him with. Uh, you can hit. You can put Shell up, and that will be you're really good at mitigating his damage. Or you could just do that. <laughs> I'm thinking this is probably what they mean by easy type. I think the HPs are, are lower in this in this uh, version compared to the later ones. Then again, Galbez isn't meant to be that difficult. You know, you, he takes a lot of damage up front, and then uh, if you get Kane to survive, then you'll get that hit sooner than you otherwise would. Also kind of makes you wonder if Leviathan was just kind of homed in on her as a summoner and attacked the boat, or if it just so happened that, you know, or if it sense that they were in, well, no, you know, he showed up first, yeah. Well, it's a good thing, good thing Rydia found her calling, but it kind of sucks for everybody else that died. <laughs> This is, and that's a cool one too. It's like, you know, everybody's gone through a lot, and you know, regardless of how Rydia feels about it, Cecil did save her life with that one time, and she's not in a position to uh, save the world. So that comes first. Hey, John. 
<laughs> Gotten to know about Paladin things, but Duff do not understand White Knight things. <laughs> I can assure you, if Cecil is a White Knight, it's back from the time when that actually, uh, when that meant was more literal than uh, pejorative. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bugs me about that one is I'm thinking what you're supposed to assume is either uh, either only his hand survived and it like grabbed the crystal, teleported away and regenerated or he was crawling around to get to it but there is a crawling uh, there's a like crawling crouching on the ground uh, sprite most of those enemies have so it's just kind of a weird one Are you thinking like his what is Gaul mode? <laughs> Are you saying that uh, Golbez was using the power glove? <laughs> I do like this plan. It ends up not working out so great, but it's a great thing. It's like, hey, while Golbez is getting one crystal, why don't we go swipe the other seven? <laughs> Oh, that's what it was, Keen said. He used Rydia to cast Warp after this sequence. You can grab that crystal and skip the sealed cave. Hmm. You know, the thing is, I, I like the game enough. I think I will I think I will play through that. Man, sealed cave, though. <laughs> no, I'm going to want to do sealed cave. It's, it's got some goodies. Plus, it'll be a good time to... Since I, want, since I won't be grinding in the stream, that would be a good time to do it in actual proper sequence and get Rosa up to high enough level to get Wall uh, to do summon monsters. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to beat uh, Ashura without uh, without Reflect, without without also grinding. I'm sure there are ways to do it, like by stocking up on thrown weapons, Berserk and everything, and powering through the HP, but you know, it's a lot easier to just reflect her. All right. To the bottom of the castle. So we got Rydia back. Let's take a, go, take a look at her. So her deal is she uses uh, rods just like before. She no longer uses staves or white magic. She has uh, she has gone to uh, black magic uh, 101 and no longer has her general uh, general studies. She I also thought she had a hat, but she does not. Uh, we'll have to buy her some armor there. But yeah, she is. She's pretty good. Her only drawback is incredibly low HP to the point where she's in one-shot range for a good chunk of the end game. Uh, that can be that can be bad, but but it is what it is. Okay, Lolly ho! So now that this that this passageway is open, we can head over here and grab all the loot we couldn't get to earlier. Yeah, can you use it? If I remember right, the Dwarven Axe is the one that looks like a thrown weapon, but actually isn't, so you can't use it from from uh, from back range. Uh, whereas I think that's just a straight-up upgrade to the Wind, wind Spear. Uh, I don't think I'll actually need that. Plus, I want to say I get one for free. Let's see, Fire Outfit. So Rydia is going to need a wizard hat and a wizard robe, I believe, because uh, Rosa's got the tiara. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to give Rydia the tiara, because it's hers anyway. We got it from her house. <laughs> and uh, the extra defense would be good to put on her. And I know Yang will be getting a strength bracelet soon. So we're just going to get rune gauntlets for the ladies. Okay. Rydia's proto... Proto Len Lena, so you mean Lena from uh, FF5? Or is that somebody else, or is that a character I'm not aware of? Then I think we can. Cafe Howdy. Yeah, um, I want to say they they removed any of the. Yeah, you can still dance, but they took the other stuff out in, of, uh, in, the, in the English version. Yeah, this one led to the. I think in the original game they just called it the, the Porn Mag. Or uh, later on, the lustful lolly ho, <laughs> which I I can't speak for anybody else, but the, I think the only game I've seen that had like halfway attractive uh, dwarves is probably Dragon Age. Even then, they had that weird the weird thing with their the skeletons with the spindly long arms and everything. So, 
Well, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there used to be a spot you can... Say, here, I think. Yeah, it used to be right there. But not, not in this version. Right, so keep on... keep on going. <laughs> the right tower. Right tower and left tower. There it is. Yep, free Dwarf Axe. So, let's put that on. Compare what we're looking at here. A point weaker. Yeah, so if you can't actually throw that, that's going to be a waste of time. And so we bought Kane a spear. Let's equip him with that. Oh, and that also reminds me. Let's go ahead and give Rydia the Dancing Dagger. Uh, whips. The big problem is that I believe in this version, I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but whips are front rank. Uh, are, are basically, they're not ranged uh, weapons, like there are in a lot of other games. So yeah, you can basically either kit... Uh, oh, I, right, I wanted to give her the uh, tiara. But basically, you can either kit Rydia out to be a front rank person, in which case her low defense and uh, and uh, HP is going to get in the way. Or you stick her in the back with a rod or, or a usable item like the dagger and just, and just do that. Silver. Oh, the Dwarf Axe boosts defensive stats. Interesting. I will, I will take a look at that. Okay, so uh, Cecil is looking at uh, 42 and 9 on defense and magic defense. Uh, went from... Ah, here's the problem, uh, Keen. It's that he did get two points of defense, but he lost a defense and a magic defense evasion chance. So, so it ends up it ends up being worse. I'm glad you mentioned that though, because I don't I've used the dwarf axe before and I never realized it penalized your defenses that much, despite looking like it actually increased them. Let's get tank raised. Oh, well, if he was dead, that means he missed out on the XP on that fight. Oh well. Let's see to take the treasures. Well, we weren't asking, but it's good to have permission anyway. Aha! I knew there was something back there. I want to say there's another... Uh, another the other tower is like even weirder on the layout. So like over here? Yeah, you can't actually get to that stuff on this one. There it is. Strength ring. It's a little bit worse defensively, but it gives Yang even more damage. So, you're not going to pass that up. Either. Yeah, this is the weird. This is the weird one, as I recall. All right. Yeah, yeah, it is annoying that you you can't actually like pull up a menu to see all the stat changes. Just you know. That's the basic overview, and then you have to go manually and check. A lolly ho. Clear on the left, clear on the right. Yeah, it can't, can't exactly have enemies sneak up on you when you've got a, you know, the lava fields as a natural barrier. Anything here? I think we can, yeah, we can duck down this one. Another 500. 500, you know, not, not going to be grudge it, but it's kind of chump change with how much gear costs at this point. <laughs> okay, I take it back. This is the weird one. <laughs> okay, you have to start from yeah, this side and then work your way uh, counterclockwise. Black belt, black belt game. Yeah, we could change our names with naming way there, but... Our entire way back round. I gotta say, part of me does kind of miss the uh, the, the perspection, perspection, the perspective uh, the areas like that. Where it's like quite clearly your characters would not miss those things. It's just you from the vantage point you have as a player that doesn't see them. All right, so I think. That's everything. I don't think I need to buy anything else from, from here. So let's say put that upgrade. 
I want to say the black belt also, yeah, it also increases your defensive or your offensive stats. So it's tempting to go buy it for Cecil or Kane. But, you know, I'm, I'm honestly, it's like they're, they're good enough as tanks. And especially Cecil, because you always want to max out his defense. That if you wanted to get, if you wanted to have Kane diversify and do more damage, you could do that. But yes, I think I think he works fine as he is. One last lolly ho for the road, and let's hit the let's go sell some stuff and then move on. So let's take a quick check and make sure everybody's got up their stuff. So Tiara, Wizard, give her the other rune, rune bangle. <laughs> That's actually not too bad defense compared to the guys on, the, on that. And then Cecil has one fire item. Ooh, we gotta get rid of that Paladin stuff. Pa Paladin is, ye is yesterday's armor. Um, yeah, let's give that... I don't know what we're gonna replace it with here, but I'm sure we got something. So, quick question: How do you all how do you all find the the dwarf music? So I gotta say, this is one of those things where it, I, it's it's fitting. I kind of like it at the start, but it really kind of gets old, you know, in the, in a hurry. Oh, I can't replace the the Paladin gauntlets there. Oh, drat. He can't wear rune bracelets, can he? No. Oh, but I bet he could. No, no. That'll be fine. I got that one. Could buy some dark arrows. I'm not sure what those are super effective against, though. And as it is, I'd, I'd rather just stick with the... I think they're probably just regular arrows that inflict blind, which is a marginal enough uh, debuff that, yeah, it's not really, not really worth stressing about. Don is a big fan of Yang. Yeah, I like Yang, too. He's, he's a different kind of, of a strong melee character compared to the other guys and Edge. And just, you know, just a fun, fun uh, archetype. Here are you. So, sell that one. We'll be keeping the claws for just a little bit longer. And we'll be selling... And I kind of, part of you kind of wants to sell that the Blood Lance because it kind of let me down. But it is something good to tag into whenever Kane is hurt pretty badly. And his turn is up because then you can just have him do damage to an enemy and heal himself. We're done with the other karate stuff. Uh, I think I will check and see if that is back rank okay. If so, that might make up for its for its other other defensive uh, for its other deficiencies. Uh, as it is, and then we'll be switching to the and the dwarf axe is what I can switch to if we don't need. So I think slumber sword has finally earned its rest. <laughs> Uh, music's not some that uh, Loras should remember fondly after completing the game, but it's not terrible. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's kind of how that's kind of how I'd put a lot of the the uh, the the, final, the Super Nintendo era uh, Final Fantasy games. It's like there there are a couple really good tracks that will stick with you, and only a handful that are kind of stinkers, and then the rest are just there. <laughs> I could go say hi to the, what do they call the sacred bird? Yep. Or, or the bird of sacred. Ah. <laughs> Carrots. You come to think of it, I could have just stowed the slumber sword in the in the fat bird's uh, gullet, but nah, I don't think I'll ever use it again. It served serve its time. And I didn't use the inn earlier because we have a full heal pot coming up. That stuff's all taken. Who are you calling Ho? <laughs> and the uh, the guy pulls off his fake beard to reveal it was a Jack Frost all along. <laughs> cabins, cabins. I probably should have bought some cabins in retrospect. Now that we've actually got some mages with more than 100 HP or 100 MP uh, on the team. But given that Rydia has more MP than Tella, you know, you, the, my first statement was also correct. <laughs> But you're braver. The four fiends, Rubicante of Fire. I, 
Well, I should have double checked my the Italian pronunciations on on uh, on uh, the fiends. Whenever I see double C's like uh, Barbariccia, I assume I'm gonna put the full put the full um, uh, lilt into it. <laughs> pot of life. A pot of life, huh? But you must be a libertarian. <laughs> Alright, we are doing good. Pretty good team. Everybody got, we're going to over 1,000 HP that need it. And we have... Oh, right, I was going to... So right now, Sea Soul is using the Fire Swords. If I hit a non-Fire Weak or Resistant enemy, I can check and see how much uh, damage we're worried about here. Actually, this would be a great example to front-rank enemies. So everybody kind of defend. Okay, so 390, front rank. Put Cease in the back. And the 390 is our baseline. And I'll need to swap that with the Dwarven Axe. Survey says. Oh, I think that does count, actually. Huh. Hmm. I don't know why I, I don't know why I thought it didn't. Maybe they took away the throwing animation from earlier. Okay, well in that case... that case, how about... we um, don't want to do triple back backbenchers. It, yeah, I think it's one of those things where that's it's interesting. It's cool that it works that way, but... I don't think I actually, I'm actually going to need to use it. So let's just... Uh, ooh, let's, let's just move along here. Maybe if the enemies do more damage than I than I remembered, it would be it would be a good way to justify putting one of the one of the guys in the back ranks. But I think we're gonna be okay. That doesn't seem like these guys are going first, so we want them to have their keep their offense up. Armadillos. Everything's worth a fair bit of XP for how easy they are, too. Onward. Onward and literally upward. We're going north here. I like the I like the what they did with the, the lava. Lava flows there. A pretty basic animation, but still pretty cool. Okay, uh, these guys the tortoises are going to be weak to weak to ice, as you do. Um, I'm gonna be doing the elemental shuffling. I'm probably gonna need to I need to swap, uh, put this up closer to the top. I think I'll do that in between, in between streams. Start putting the stuff I'd be shuffling around, you know, in, in a more accessible position. Let's see, with those guys dead, then we should be able to. Yeah. Perfect. That will do nicely. It's like, yeah, you can just mash attack to go through here, but okay. That was quick. You can't just mash, at mash attack to get through this stuff, but yeah, it's good. it goes a little more smoothly if you kind of give people, you know, give, you get, have people do their special moves, customize your offense to what they're doing, and you know, stuff like that. What they're weak to, rather. I also kind of miss uh, Rosa's prey. Uh, that was a good way to have her take turns to, to, to try to heal people without having to swap her bow uh, for the cure staff and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to have that functionality in this game, you have to trade out her bow and, bow and arrows to a staff you know, every time. Okay, this is going to be a little messy. Remember right, the black lizards are weak to ice. So I think I'm going to just have Rydia throw a Lazara down. Probably have. Hmm, should I have Yang kick one of them? Yeah. Yeah, at this point, we might as well. Actually, with how yeah, with how much damage this is doing, is the jump's going to kill him? But I believe one dancing dagger will kill a kill an imp too. So yeah, don't actually need to use any MP up. I might even use a tent when I when I get up there. I just let it ride. 
There we go. Yeah, so now already is doing almost as good a hit uh, as the as the boys are with uh, well, probably about half as strong. Yeah, that's true. About two thirds to to half as strong as theirs uh, with a with no MP and uh, freely. So yeah, dancing dagger very underrated, uh, very underrated weapon. It's not bad as an actual you know melee attack too. Gotta say, you know, when the enemy the enemy has his uh, giant doom fortress, and you get your allies to show up in tanks and start bombarding it, that is a pretty cool way to make an entrance. <laughs> All right. Well, it is not quite ten yet, but I think I am. I think I one I one giant tower will do it for me for the stream. So, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, guys. And